What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, Polano Productions dropped an interesting one. The moment WWE ruined Walter. You know what the moment was? When they decided to change his name for no goddamn reason. That's Vince for you. I, I, I don't get it. I will never get it. It's like something is good and then it seems like WWE upper management oh this is cool people like this let's change it why I don't know but we're gonna see if he mentions this in this video I'm sure he will appreciate all the love and support man road to 70k let's get right into this man I already know this is going to be a good one only one day to ruin Walter that's actually incredibly impressive just how quickly Vince McMahon can ruin a wrestler that could have been a huge star making money for his company Walter had the potential to be a future WWE World Champion. Yes. And I sadly think that yesterday's episode of NXT already ruined him. In fact, this is the beginning that will most likely lead to the downfall of his career with WWE before getting released. Triple H worked so hard to push this man to superstardom, and Vince McMahon literally destroyed it all. It is a true shame, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the moment that ruined Walter, or should I say Gunther. What the hell is Gunther? What is... Why? Why? Someone tell me why. Walter, let's change it to Gunther. That'll be great. Off this match is Gunther. Before we get there, it's important to take a look at his wrestling career prior to signing a contract with World Wrestling Entertainment. Walter started his professional wrestling career 15 years ago in 2007. The first promotion Damn. he worked for was Westside Extreme Wrestling. If you aren't familiar with it, don't be too shocked because that is a promotion that is based in Germany and there aren't too many wrestling companies people know from there. This is where he started and learned everything about the squared circle, creating an identity for himself. Walter even had some classic battles with Tommy End. Other than WXW, he also worked for some notable wrestling promotions like PWG, Evolve, mm. Define oh, wow. Wrestling, and Progress Wrestling. Walter was really making a big name for himself during this time when he would wrestle against the likes of Keith Lee, Ricochet, oh, wow. and Will Ospreay. Didn't know that. After dominating the independent scene, Triple H noticed and signed him to WWE in 2019. The winner! That's crazy. I didn't even know that, man. This is, oh my gosh. It's like, it, I'm really starting to believe anything that Triple H touched and saw and cultivated, Vince McMahon and his his goons, his 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 upper management people that kiss his ass, they just they just destroy everything that Triple H bought into brought into NXT. Everything. They just destroying it now. For what? Oh my gosh. Match is More specifically, Triple H wanted Walter to be the face of the NXT UK brand. Hunter did not waste any time. He this understood the assignment. Triple H was well aware of the fact that he had a star with Walter and instantly inserted him into the UK Championship title picture for his debut. At NXT TakeOver New York, Walter won the UK Championship, putting an end to Pete Dunne's 685-day mm -hmm. title reign. Walter went on to have one of the most dominant title reigns ever, yep. destroying everyone in his path. Walter literally held the championship for a total of 870 Ooh. days because nobody could beat him for it. The booking for him was really strong. Fantastic. He was dead ass the champion for more than two years. That is just savage. Throughout this time, Walter made some appearances at TakeOvers and was even at Survivor Series in 2019 when NXT joined in for the fun. I think that night was a clear indication that Vince McMahon was going to ruin this man's career immediately. The WWE booked this man to get eliminated first in that match, and Which, he lasted in the match for a total of three minutes. That was stupid. I remember that happening. That was dumb because he, what the f he is still the longest reigning NXT champion of all time, and you have him lose like that. 
that is straight up embarrassing. Vince McMahon did not understand him then, and he obviously doesn't understand him now. Anyways, Walter then got involved in a feud with Ilya Dragunov, and the two would have a classic match in 2020 that was one of the best matches of that year. Mm -hmm. After that, they had a rematch at NXT TakeOver 36 with the UK title on the line, where Walter finally lost the championship belt. 870 days Ooh. later, and it was time for him to move on from the NXT UK brand. The WWE then convinced him to move over to America because they were ready to bring him over to their other brands. It's safe to say that that might have been a bad idea oh, because yes. I think he's already been ruined and yes. this is the beginning of the downfall like I said in the beginning oh, of the video. God. Let's talk about the moment that ruined Walter. The winner of this match is Gunter! WWE ruined Walter in his official NXT debut last night. He was booked to have a match with Roderick Strong, and while the match itself was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, the event that transpired afterwards was just terrible. <laughs> Why is he licking Walter like proceeded to grab a microphone and said this. The winner of this match is Gunta! Yep, that's right. The new name that WWE trademarked, Gunther Stark, was for Walter. Out of anybody who needed a name- Wait, 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 did I see something that said on Tuesday, Fightful reported WWE filed a trademark, Gunther Stark, for the entertainment purposes on January 13, which numerous Twitter users pointed out was the name of a Nazi German U-boat commander during- This is what we doing. This is you changed his name to that shit. Really? Oh my. Oh my God, bro. Oh my. <gasps> Fuck you, WWE. Fuck you, Vince. Whoever signed off on this, well, I'm sure Vince okay this. Fuck this. Fuck you, bro. This is stupid. You're... What? Of all names, you choose something that is... A Nazi German U-boat commander is the name you go with. Out of anybody who needed a name change, Walter was the last person on that list. His name was awesome, and this was just another dumbass idea by Vince McMahon. My speculation is that WWE just wanted to keep erasing the NXT that Triple H created, and if they actually have plans to push Walter, they don't want people remembering the past. The best way to do that is to give him a new identity. But I do think giving him a Nazi name just makes all this even worse for WWE. Everything about this is just idiotic. Vince McMahon did not see the value in Walter at Survivor Series in 2019, and he doesn't see the value in his name either. I'm predicting that this is where it all goes down from here. Walter is not going to be with the company by the end of the year. I'll call it right now. I hope I'm wrong, but that is just how I see all this playing out. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. I legitimately hope and pray that Walter, I'm not calling him that, leaves. I, I hope he can find a way out. Leave. For the love that for the love of all that's holy in this world. Leave WWE. Leave them. Do not come back. Triple H can't save you. Leave. They are going to ruin him. They have already ruined him by naming him this. This is so stupid. I am I'll be surprised at this point. Anything that Triple H touched in NXT is dead on arrival as soon as Vince gets his hands on it, bro. Ah, yeah. I'm... Comment down below. Let me know. On a scale of 1 through 10, how stupid was this decision? I'm going to give this a solid 10 because this was... Highly stupid to change his name. Very stupid. Dumb. I'm over it. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 7K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me.
I'll see y'all on the next one.